We have new information on a tragic accident that claimed the lives of two young Massachusetts siblings. The brother and sister were found unresponsive after locking themselves inside a hope chest. As the family mourns the loss of the little ones tonight, so does their community. It happened on Chestnut Street in Franklin, Massachusetts, seen here on the Pinpoint News Tracker. Franklin's about 30 minutes north of Providence near Rentham, and where we find Eyewitness News reporter Todd Wallace with more on the tragic accident. And Shannon, we're here at the Franklin Police Department where authorities are continuing to investigate. But as for right now, this tragedy appears to be a terrible accident. The tragic deaths of two children in Franklin has shaken this small, tight-knit community. When I saw the cameras and I found out the news, I'm, it's, it's just terrible, shock, shocking. I have kids of my own. It's so scary. Peggy Kowalik lives nearby and is heartbroken over the news. At about 8 p.m. Sunday, police say family members found the children unresponsive inside of a hope chest in this home at 313 Chestnut Street. The chest can only be opened from the outside, and police say it was also near a loud television. The family called 911. Neighbors saw the police response. And went in the house, running out here, back and forth. They were fine. I don't know how many hours. The children were rushed to separate hospitals, but by then it was already too late. A parent meeting was held where the children were attending school at Davis Thayer Elementary, and this memento was placed in the family's doorstep. Kowalik says she's sure the community will be supportive during this family's time of need. This town is so close. I grew up in Franklin. I've been here for 50 years. My parents are still here. My sister's here. I have a lot of good friends and, and family here. And, you know, we could definitely help out these, these parents. And late this evening, Eyewitness News received a statement from the superintendent of the Franklin School Department. It reads in part, our deepest thoughts, prayers, and sympathies go to the family. She went on to say that the school system's crisis team has been activated for students, parents, and faculty. Reporting live with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.